Okay, so I just want to show you one example of what happens when you look at some random levels on charts. And I want, to, I want you to see the process I'm using here to get these. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm basically going to hide the price data. And I change it to a dot of close with the same color as the background. So now we can't see the price data at all. And I'm going to change the stock. Let's use, uh, let's use Baidu, I guess. Um, and now I'm just going to drop some random lines in without really thinking a lot. And you know, the, the purpose of hiding the price data is that it makes the process that much more random that you cannot see, you know, your eye is not tricked, you're, you're not accidentally dropping things on top of price structures you see because everything is hidden. So here it is on the daily. And now let's look at the past, let's use five minute intraday bars and let's go, I guess the last nine months. And okay, so there the data is loaded. So now I'm going to page through and you saw that these levels were completely randomly drawn on the charts. Pretend you don't know that. Pretend that you were told before the market opened on any of these trading days that these were significant levels that were calculated with whatever whatever pet technique you're using. Um, and let's just let's just look at price action around those levels. So here, this is really not that significant. Big gap above the level uh, probably looks significant on a higher time frame. Um, here is. Here you can see, let me back up a little bit, you can see this level held for quite a few days on the gap up. And look, actually I guess that is a little bit interesting. So look what happened once the level was penetrated. You had a tremendous amount of volatility. And if you, if you came into this market with the idea that this red line here at 66.57 was a very important price level to watch, you certainly would have seen important action around it on this day. And that is the point. Uh, here is this random level again. And notice this is three days price action is contained up to the next random level. Uh, we test above the level. It fails in the first few hours of the trading day. And that is the end of that rally. Paging forward, here we are back to this. Actually, that's some pretty interesting tests there again. Tests to the tick. Now this really, you know, the point here is this really looks like significant price action, but you know the secret. You know how these levels were drawn, which was completely randomly. Uh, there again, we engage the level. Here we are a few months into the exercise. Uh, here's the higher level, market gaps above, there's a little bit of volatility around the level. The level holds, the market trades up cleanly, opens higher the next day. Certainly significant price action. A uh, little retest. So the question to ask yourself is, don't take my word for it with this exercise, it's just an example. But as you draw these random levels on the charts, and as you examine price action around those levels, do you really see a difference between these random levels and the levels you're creating through whatever process? Uh, are your levels really better than random levels? Uh, here's something a little bit interesting. I'm just going to page through a little bit faster, and I'll let you go through the video, and you can pause, you can pause the video and consider what you're looking at here. Uh, look at that. And this is a higher level, tested twice, little consolidation under, eventually the level breaks. Here is the next higher level. And we can do this exercise 50 times with a different set of random levels. Uh, we can use sloping trend lines, you can do whatever you want. Here's one that is probably not really significant on that day. And you're going to see very similar action, and you're going to see that it's not, uh, look at this, that it's not really that different than what you probably see with the levels you are using.
Okay, so go back through the video and pause some of those places, look and consider, and then, like I said, don't take my word for it. Use this as a departure point for yourself. Uh, repeat this exercise on several stocks. Draw random levels however you want. Draw horizontal lines, sloping trend lines. Get the numbers out of Excel with a random number generator. Just kind of squint at the chart and draw the lines, whatever. Uh, have a friend draw the lines, then, then you look. Um, but th this is something that really is worth, especially if you focus a lot on levels, this is worth a lot of your focus and attention. It's something very important to think about.